Set. I'm here with head coach Brian Jackson. Brian, will you tell me about the importance of this meet, you know, the Terrier Relays here at Viking Track? Yeah, this, this, uh, this is a great opportunity for our program. Um, Wofford College has never been able to host a meet of this magnitude with this many teams. Um, definitely the first meet we've ever hosted in the Division I era. Um, it just means a lot to my staff and my, and my program to be able to put a meet like this on and compete here in Spartanburg. You know, we saw a lot of the kids this morning walking around and just happy to be in Spartanburg today. What, what does that mean to you to be able to host a meet here to tell recruits that, hey, we do host meets on campus. We bring in 14 teams. Yeah, it's big. It's big time in the recruiting process to be able to be able to host a meet here and ha have um, recruits come to a meet that we're hosting and watch us compete here on campus. Um, you know, that's just big. What are you expecting out of the Terriers today here at the Terrier Relays? You know, we're expecting, like we expect every week, our kids to compete hard and give us their best effort with their best attitude. Um, you know, I'm looking for a high team finish today. We got we got a good field of competitors to compete against. Good good field of teams out here, um, but but we're here to win it, man. This is our home turf, and we're we're, we're here to protect it. Now, it is a scored meet, and it's a unique system. It's Terrier Relays. We are following the the relay format. Will you uh, elaborate on that? Yeah, we're gonna have um, we're gonna have relays. Um, we have seven different relays that we're running today, um, and then we have four track individual events, the 5K, the 3,000-meter steeplechase, the 100 hurdles, and the 110 hurdles, and each of those events we will take the top two individuals from each team and combine their, and come up on their time to um, figure out the team score. So that's kind of the unique the, the uniqueness of it, combining individual event scores. And not many teams do this in the South. You know, we talked about you know, a meet of this magnitude, but really this is the first thing in the Southeast. Yeah, it's it's a it's a style of a meet that I picked up when I was coaching up in up north at Bowling Green, and um, I've I've kind of brought it here to to Spartanburg and to Wofford, and it's it's a very unique setup. There's not a lot of team scored events that we, we you see down in the southeast, and um, I think that can add some excitement to track and field and, and to teams to be able to score and compete for a team score and win a trophy at the end of the day. Yeah. In a couple of weeks, you're coming up with the Southern Conference Championship outdoor meet. What what do you expect out of the Terriers for that, and what are you looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to getting out there and competing, man. I'm looking forward to us, us going up against the other schools in the Southern Conference and them seeing, them seeing the progress we've made. You know, this is the best, this is the best team I've ever had at Wofford. Um, and we're young and we're only getting better. Um, and I expect us to, to beat more teams than we've ever beaten before and, and finish really high. You know, we're not, we're not going to be a team contending for the top three right now, but we're going to be a team contending for top half of the conference. Um, we're, we're a very strong outdoor team with a lot of, uh, with a number of athletes that right now are ranked in the top three in the conference in their events.